Hello, welcome to the program. I am your host, Fat Man. I'm Little Boy. And this is our weekly netcast podcast for the first week of April. Happy April. Thank you. Happy April Fools. Happy, yeah. Well, you know, today's the second. The year is already one quarter over. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable how fast things have already gone. One you know what? fourth over. You know, I was just thinking because there's sunlight now out when we're doing our show at six o'clock at night. Yes. We have up above us, we have red lights, we have blue lights, we have white lights, we have all these different colors because we had to uh, kind of throw in the different spectrums of the daylight, you know? Okay. But we can get rid of those because I'm looking at you and you look a little yellow. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I may I maybe have jaundice. <laughs> Wow, this earpiece is loud. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we have a producer with us again today. Uh, actually, director. Why not producer? We're going to call her producer. Producer Jen. Jen, say hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, how's it going? Very good. Very good. Very good. Can you do me a favor while you're out there? Can you lower number two a little tiny bit? Sorry to bother you in the middle of that. But anyway, little boy, how was your week? My week's been nice. Um, you know, not, not a whole lot going on. Uh, I was back to work for my first week. Back oh, to that's work right. after you had a, vacation. Your vacation's over. Um, you know, which is always a little bit of a challenge, but things went really good. I uh, unfortunately, uh, um, uh, some friends of mine that I grew up uh, in high school, and I actually spent a lot of time with them. Uh, uh, their father passed away, so we went to his funeral this weekend. Um, so that was sad, of course. It was oh, nice yeah. to, to see everybody because there's some people. There's I had a, a really good friend who flew in from out of town who I hadn't seen probably for you know 12 years. It's really nice to see her and uh, you know, but you know, it's, it's another kind of, one of your liberal kind of friends or you know. To be honest with you, I don't know what what her uh, play. Wow, play I her, I, 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 I know right away. I just look for the Birkenstocks, the no makeup, and the long <laughs> it hair. Was a, no, liberal. It was none of that. It was at a <laughs> it was a funeral. Nobody was dressed like that. Uh, well, no, no. Hey, um, you know, it's funny that you speak but about... How, how are you doing? How was your week? I had a pretty difficult week, and yeah. um, I'm not really going to go through with it on the air here, how, okay. how my week went, but it was a, a challenging week, and we're still kind of having some issues, but well, um, I just want to throw this out real quick. I don't like Google. I don't like YouTube. Yeah, I don't like you. <laughs> you know what? They're a necessary evil, but they are evil. They're a company that uh, supposedly says... We're, you know, well, do no evil. They're evil. One of our conversations we had earlier is the fact that, and you brought it up, so you understand it, they're a private company. They can do whatever they want. Whatever they want. That's true. So we use them for a lot of stuff that we don't pay for, and it sucks when they, we, we had some YouTube issues that we've changed. We'll have to get into that a little bit later. Um, we're, we're changing our YouTube channel. Um, but the bottom line is, it's free service that we're using. I know they make money. They don't. Nobody does anything for free, but it's something that's offered to us. So uh, I don't know. Yeah, you just they, well, we have our own servers now, and we pay for hosting for video. Right. And and we've kind of moved away from them. Right. You know, but we still throw stuff on there, even though everybody and their brother who has a camera has a YouTube show. Right. You know, uh, which annoys me too. But at the same time, man, that's how we got started. So sure. and we really can't be upset about it. But I do very much just dis have disdain in, in my heart for them. So, and, and if you're watching, uh, you know, any of you guys uh, there at Google, I don't like if you If you're watching anybody there at Google, we would love to for you to sponsor us. Oh, well, well, yeah, we'll yeah. take yeah. your money. <laughs> yeah, we'll take them. Nah, nah, you know, nah. I, I, actually, you know what? They Speaking do the sponsors. They, they do the best they can. Oh, that's it. I'm going to speak about sponsors. Yeah. And here's a sponsor that has nothing to do with Google. Matter of fact, they don't even advertise on Google. It's goldensilver.com. They are our sponsor for the Fat Man Little Boy Show. They're also the sponsor for the Little Boy Show, or a moment with Little Boy, and the Fat Man Show. Yep. So we appreciate them. It's goldensilver.com. Go to our website. You can click on their link. Learn everything you need to know about gold, about silver, about investing in this economy. You know... Like I've said oh, a million times boy, before, with this volatile economy and with money being printed like it's just free paper, maybe it's time to have something secure like gold or silver. Gold and silver is a good investment no matter what. Yes. Uh, but you know what? We, I want to go back to this real quick because remember we were talking about, um, <laughs> and this is funny, we were talking about a couple of weeks ago, Facebook. Mm -hmm. And... You know, I, I'm on Facebook, I'm off, I'm on, I'm off, I'm on, I'm off. But, you know, when you want to get together with people you know, Facebook's the way to do it. Yes. Now, this week, I've been 
kind of going through my friends' Facebook pages, and I've gone through a page here and a page there. Well, I went to your Facebook page, because <laughs> you are my friend. Yes. And although the Little Boy page isn't a page that's open to the public, because it's not Little Boy, it's your real name, uh, although mine is, so. But anyway, uh, I saw that you were, I guess, what do they call it? Facebook chat fighting? I mean, how do you call it? Somebody? Fighting. You what? were. Somebody had you come. Were, uh, somebody from high school. Yeah. Who I'm Facebook friends with, and um, uh, we were classmates in high school. And it's not, it's not, I, it's not that I hadn't. I was trying to figure this out because it's not that I hadn't spoke to him since high school because I think. We had run into each other a couple of times. Really nice guy, you know. Uh, his name is Chris. I won't use your last name, Chris. Um, he sent me a message, just out of the blue, sent me a message. Uh, I'll go ahead and read. Would you like me to read it for I you? I would love for you to read it. I will it. read it for you. It says, <laughs> so here is, it says, so here is my question. I watched one of your broadcasts. We need to change that. <laughs> I saw the pictures of great presidents. So now you are brainwashed by Obama. Wow. Would have guessed different. Good luck with that. So apparently he watched it and he was... Ups- I, I, I can only assume that he was a little upset with me, I guess. Well, um, I mean, you know what? When you first have a, a... When you have a friend like you, and in high school I'm sure you weren't very political. No. Now, Not we went to high school are. together, but we didn't know each other then. Right. So, And I was older than you, but still... I still am older than you. But anyway, yeah. uh, he didn't know you. As being the liberal, you know, wishy-washy guy. So then when he turned, found out that you're liberal, wishy-washy, you know, whatever happens, happens kind of guy. It's interesting how it you probably put hurt him. a spin on everything. Well, it's the, anyway, am I wrong, people? Anyway. Nobody's tweeting me that I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's tweeting me that you're right. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I, I, I don't want to say I was offended because I'm not. Anybody, everybody's... Uh, Welcome to their opinion. I certainly was not offended. I, I took exception to to the term brainwash, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, well, you don't like the word brainwash? Well, I wanted to know what what was I saying. You know, it's very interesting to me that, you know, everybody has a certain way they look at things. Yeah. Now, I, I kind of get it in the sense that I see things a specific way. And when I actually really think about the way you look at the world... It's very difficult for me to understand how you can see the world and look at it the way you do. I look Wait, at let it. Me, let me make my point. Go ahead, go ahead. Make your point. And so I think <coughs> you think the same way with me. You have a specific way you look at the world. You see the way I look at the world and you go, how could anybody come to the conclusions that he comes to when he is looking at the same thing I'm looking at? Right? Basically. Do you, is it my turn to talk yet? No. Uh, all right. So... So I can kind of understand that, but the word brainwash was interesting. I think that's just a word that people throw around, and my guess is that's just a word that he threw around. Because I even asked him, I responded, and I said, uh, because I see things differently than you, that makes me brainwashed. You know, because that's, I guess a lot of people think that way, you know, that, you know, that if you don't think the same way as you, you have, there has to be something wrong with you, you must be brainwashed. But I, I was kind of curious, how, brainwashed by who or how? Okay, can I you talk know? now? You can talk now. All right. What I see of the world is, <clears throat> it's not even, I, I wish there was an angle further than 180, because the difference between you and me is more than night and day. It's more than polar opposites. I can't understand, even come close to comprehending, how you see the world. And I'm the same with you. No, because you could, uh, you, there's some things I say that Here's you go, thing. eh, you know. I try and understand what you're saying. I can't. But I, I, you don't try. To you, you don't is, try. You're so I stuck in your way. I even you don't fathom try. thinking that way. I actually try and see things from your point. Yeah, but point. you say you're a free thinker. And free thinkers are supposed to be able to see everything. That's what, that's what you always are put, no. put out there, that, well, well I'm a free I, thinker, so I, I can see no, all the I'm sides. Free, no, no, that's you, not what I said. I never said that. But that's what not I'm what saying. you just said now. What you're well, saying that's not right what now I, First of all, that's not what I've ever said. I said yes, I'm a free thinker, and so, so what you're I saying, think for hey, It's my time now. You had your little rant no. time. There is no time. No, no, no. No, there is my time. You're making me more aggressive. I'm headliner here. I told you I forgot my water. I didn't want to get mad today. Let me tell you. nothing to drink. So the question is, I can't understand how you think the way you think. I would go so far to say oh boy. that there is a possible, this is a possible, 
chemical imbalance. Oh, brother. In your brain oh, that makes please. you think that way. Now, there now, might be, ask, there ask, might be a liberal disease. Are, okay, now see, are you Now, trying what to be, if there is? Are you trying to be funny or are you serious? Because do you really think there's something chemically wrong with my brain, really? Or are you just being... Actually, I do think you're off. I do. Now, I'm not, the liberal disease was just a funny right. thing, but well, I do th- A funny attempt, we'll say. <laughs> but I do believe that there is something wrong with you. Something. Because in the reason because why I know it's funny, it's, it's, it's funny how, how people, I'm not even going to just say Republicans or the GOP, which nobody knows what means. We had that talk <laughs> yeah, once. I texted both I of those guys last, last week. We had a couple of <laughs> listeners. Let's just throw that out before we forget it. Who didn't know what GOP stands for. You know, a lot of people don't know what GOP stands for. Well, it's funny because they asked you. And I'm thinking, yeah. why would they ask him? Well, maybe they were trying to, to like catch you on the, the grand old party. But I actually knew instantly and they thought that I was BS and they thought that I just made oh. something up. But anyway, and that was just funny. Yeah. So if you're listening okay. to this, and, 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 and should, we, should we single them out? No. We'll single you out. No. <laughs> oh, all right. No. Go ahead. Um, so anyways, I was curious what, why, see, you, you don't, once, the fact that people don't see things the way that you do means there's something wrong with them. Yes. That's how it is, and that's, that's how apparently it is with Chris's, uh, the way he looks at it, or the way, if you're watching Chris, he said he's only watched one show. I'm assuming he's not watching now. But oh, if you're watching, watch. oh, he'll watch. If you're watching, you know, I, I assume that's the way you look at it. You know, you, you see things a certain way, and if people don't see them the same way, then then there's something wrong with them. So here's my question to you. Okay. Do you know there's nothing wrong with you? I mean, I just go by by our fans of the show. I'll I go by the way I fans. feel, the way people I know feel. You know, except for you and your father. Pretty, and maybe your sister, who I've talked to a few times. She doesn't really get uh, She doesn't get involved. political because, well, the other thing is she has money. And when you have money, you don't think like you do. And that's the difference. And you don't do bad. You don't my, do financially my, bad. My you guess, still think that way. My guess is my sister politically is a lot closer to me than she is to you. If your because sister, you're crazy and she's sad. Oh, I'm not crazy. So... Okay, well, here's the question again. As a matter of fact, I believe your sister's watching. I hope she texts oh, us or tweets us into this. I believe there's something wrong with you. Now, here's why I say Okay. That. Your brother uh-huh. thinks almost exactly like me. No. He a lot closer, closer to, you. to me. Nobody thinks exactly like no, you. A lot closer to me than He's you He's closer to you than he is to me. Yes. Your dad is on your, your kind of thinking. He's closer but, to me than he is to you. But he is... It's a little difference with his intelligence because he he is he thinks your way, but he's more more intelligent than you are. So we kind of have that going on there. I do I, I, believe that something happened. Now I don't know what it is. First of all, and why would you be ultimate authority on intelligence or any of this stuff? I, I'm just I'm saying it from my side of it, okay. the fat man side. Of it. But what I would say is I would be willing to try because listen. If something happens to you in the process, it's a risk I'm willing to take. But here's what I would say. (laughs) You need to have a brain scan. And they need to do every test they can do just to see if there's an issue with you. Maybe, Honestly. And then wouldn't that be something if they came up with, hey, this oh is the problem. His, his chemical XZ that blah, 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 blah is so off. Ridiculous. And they can give you a shot and all of a sudden you're normal? That is so... You know what? Actually, you know what? I'll tell you what. I am... First of all, I think you are being so ridiculous. Is it worth a shot? I mean, it's worth the risk I to me. I will not pay one penny to have a brain scan because I am not. It is a total waste of money. However, however, you want to pay to get my brain scan because you really, truly think there's something wrong? You go for it. Anybody out there want to pay for it? I'll, I will do it. Okay. I will do it because I think you are just absolutely so ridiculous with this. Okay, here's what I'd like to do. This is what I'm going to ask. It. You'll I'll do it, it? But I, I won't pay nothing. It, it's for a it. risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> it's a risk I'm willing to take. Here is. I just got a physical. I just got a full physical. Yeah, but they didn't check your brain. There's no way they checked he your brain. He saw no need to. Yeah, because he didn't talk to you. Because <laughs> when you went to the doctor, you sat like this, like everybody else. No, I sat down. We had a nice long conversation. Did you talk great. about giving money to people who can't afford gas? By making a government subsidy? Did, you, did, did I ever say that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, first of all, now you're just being... I never said no. that. Anyway, here's what I, I want to do. That. I would like to ask... Let's ask uh, Rush Limbaugh. Let's ask oh. Sean Hannity. Let's ask first Glenn all, Beck. 
I, I, I could send them the clip none of this. Of those, I'll tell you what, none of those clowns would pay for it. And as much as I can't stand any of them, if they want to waste their money to do that, I would let them. However, I don't think any of them would. All right, well, I'm going to ask you, Mr. Limbaugh, <laughs> Mr. Hannity, <laughs> Mr. Beck, I'm going to send you a copy of this. Oh, please. Little boy has definite issues. There's got to be something wrong with him because nobody thinks like that in the world. Maybe Barney Frank, but we all know he's a nutcase. So we the all know that, question huh? is, he needs a brain scan. He has said no, he would he do the brain need, scan. He doesn't need a brain scan. And he's willing so we to, could find out what is wrong with him. He's willing to have a brain scan to prove what a moron you are. You, yeah, to, to, to prove what a moron he is. To prove he wants what to a do moron it. you are. He is, yes. So, all right, let's, let's move on to another thing. So anyway, I'm going to send this to them, and uh, we'll see what they say. I think that, that would be great. I think it's going nowhere, but we'll see what happens. And we're 15 First minutes into the show already. Yeah. And you know what I want to start with now? Even though I have a bunch of politics stuff that I want to talk, political stuff mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about, I want to talk to you about the open mic with Obama. I definitely want that out there. Okay. Who does this guy think he is? Okay. Uh, I want to talk to you about debt numbers. But the first thing, and I, I believe this is an extremely important thing to talk about, is how in Colorado... Aggressive parents forced the Easter egg hunt to be canceled. Yes. Now, you know why we're going to talk about this? This was on our list last week, but this mm -hmm. weekend I watched NBC News, which yeah. I hardly ever watch NBC. Producer Jen was upset disgusting. we didn't talk about this last yeah. week. She wanted us to talk about it. NBC is nothing but the Obama network. But I did watch them, and they did do a, a whole oh, thing about the aggressive God. parents. Now, <clears throat> hopefully Jen's playing the video behind us, and there's a video that Fox... Uh, Fox. Jen is happily playing the video right now All that right. he didn't get to play last week. Yes. She's, there's a Fox 5 video uh, there. Thank you, Fox, up in Colorado. They did a report on it. Basically what happens is these parents are to the point where they're so aggressive to have their kids get as many of everything as they can get that... <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> that's the word. That's someone to parents. That um, they had to close off the Easter egg hunt. Now, in reading a little more about it, I was I, I, the first thing I thought of was what happens to the commerce of the local businesses? Because do they expect this to be something that you know people are going to come in? Well, it's like fifty-fifty. Half the store owners, and these are store owners that have merchandise that you know kids wouldn't be you know you wouldn't bring your kid into. They said it doesn't matter. It's just a big mess anyway. But the store owners of candy stores and ice cream stores and stuff like that, they're a little bit disappointed about well, it. The whole idea is it, it doesn't really have anything to do with an Easter egg hunt. I mean, the story does, but the, the, the problem isn't an Easter egg hunt or Easter egg, anything, anything like that. It's the problem with parents that are just so involved with their kids. They want their kids to win We at have talked all about costs. this. Parents are way too involved. They call them, in the article, they call them helicopter parents, where they just, you know, hover, hover. right over them. And, there's eggs, there's yeah, eggs. Yeah, yeah. and they kick my all the kids kid, away. I mean, come on. My kid needs to get the most eggs, and uh, and if they see something that's not fair, then they're jumping. And they, they said it just got out of, out of control. All these parents were jumping over. It was supposed to be for kids only. And this is Colorado. Now, and, I have to say something about Colorado. This is where I'm going to bring politics right back into it. Colorado is pretty much hippies and liberals. So basically, Jeez. what's happened to you people? You're supposed to be kumbaya -ish and everybody should share. So let me tell you something. If one kid gets 50 eggs and another kid gets 20 eggs, you're going to do a division there. Because but 35 and 35, first of all, because that's how you guys think? First, no. First of all, what we need to remember is... Not everywhere. If you have 50 people enter a contest, there's only one winner. We have too much of not letting our kids know that they will lose something. <coughs> but you know what? The whole country is going that way. You're, you're, you're telling your kids you can be on health care until you're 27. Why the heck go get your own? You're telling your kids, you know, uh, um, you, can, you can stay at home and don't worry about it because mom and dad will pay this for your not, life. This is a parenting issue. This is, this is a parenting politics. issue, but the problem is, where is what is our the, government doing to the, to, issue, to the people? The they're, issue, they're telling the kids today no, that, the, you know what, if you can't pay for your college loans, don't worry about the, that's it. Not a, the the well, issue is... It all goes from... I, I'm saying the issue of parents is ridiculous. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with the you The issue here with I parents think, is ridiculous, but the problem is it's a greater issue. The problem issue. is it's a greater competition issue. has been turned into the most important thing is winning... Not the most important thing is competing. The, the, it, most parents would rather help their kids, let's go like to, to a school project, help their kids finish a school project and make sure that project gets an A, then let the kid work through it themselves, do it themselves, make a couple mistakes, and get a B on their own. Because the ki parents, it's all about bragging rights. 
And the parents want to say, my kid got an A. My kid got 42 eggs, and there's a bunch of kids that didn't get any. It's a parent problem. It's not a government problem. It's not any of that stuff. It's just it, everything's become so, everybody's so focused on the final result, and I think that it's the process is, should be actually more important than the final result. Yeah. You know? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, the next article, in, 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 <coughs> I, you know, we'll just, we'll just move on because I think we're running way into time now. The next question, <laughs> real quick, is an article you sent me today that I really like. It's the expiration date for marriage. This article, um, as you see behind us, this gentleman was suggesting that since 50% of all marriages pretty much end up in divorce, right. maybe there should be a kind of a marriage contract. Right. A contract would run between one year, then at the end of that one year, you would renegotiate to continue the marriage. Right. A three-year, at the end of that three-year, you would renegotiate or, or re... Well, I guess you just kind of look into it. This negotiation, basically, right. a five-year, a ten-year. He also stated that if you're under the age of 46, your chances of divorce are very high. I mean, no matter how long you've been married for, if you're under the age of 46, your chance of divorce is over 40, uh, over 50%, right? So, yeah, 51, I think. Yeah, so it's pretty high. It's a very interesting... You know, I don't even know what to say on this because my wife be happens to work here at the studio We're and I have to be very careful I'm not going to get hit with something. We're both married, but <clears throat> let me tell you this. This is the way I look at it. Um, yeah, but your wife never watches this or listens to this, so no. you're completely safe. She I will give you this. the perspective from the woman, from the female end of it, after we hear what little boy has to say. Okay. I take marriage very seriously. Yes. Has nothing to do with any religious aspects of it. You know, we can, we can get into that. We can turn this show off, start a new one, and talk about that for 15 hours. Right. right. You know, and we're not going to do that. Marriage to me is very, very, was very serious. And I got married pretty young, <coughs> but I didn't take it lightly. A lot of people, I think, go into it with, hey, you know what, let's get married. That'd be cool. Uh -huh. You know, it's very serious. It's very serious. And if it don't commitment. work out, whatever. Yeah, that's what a lot of people, you know, it's a very serious <coughs> commitment for me. Um, Especially once we had children, um, my parents got divorced, and it was very difficult. And my parents, for the most part, after the divorce, got along very well. It wasn't like one of those really ugly divorces or anything. And it was extremely difficult for me. Really? Yes. I didn't very know. extremely difficult for me to deal with that. Um, so I take it very, very seriously. And I think that this, is, this, this would give people a way out. You know, I, I think a way out, uh, make it easier for divorce. Um, but on the other hand, one of the ways, one of the things that they said about this article was it might actually make people work harder on their marriage. By having the one-year contract? Knowing, you know what, this thing's up in a year. If I don't put forth an effort, he's going to split. He's going to say, I'm not renewing. Or she's going to say, I'm not renewing this thing after this year's up, you know. It might make people more... But would it do the exact opposite? Harder. I don't See, know. my thing is, would it do the exact opposite? Be like, hey, I don't have to, I don't, I don't have to put in a year. Yeah, I, I you know, I mean, all you of a sudden, all of a sudden, this guy doesn't. He just wants to, you know, be with this woman for a year, and that's it. But and now, he, and he made he, her excited by married? marrying her. Why did he get married in the first place? I don't know. You know I, I don't know why I anybody mean, gets married about in the first stuff place. Stuff like this. <laughs> Or multiple times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, we talked on my other show, on my on my roundtable show about Tiger Woods, and 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 he had issues. And and you know, when when if you are interested in dating multiple people and doing all that, I have no issue with that. You know, if you're going to get married and do that, I don't really. It's your life. It's what you do. But why would you get married? If you know that that's not what you're interested in doing, why would you? So are you against it? what this guy's saying? You know, it's absolutely, funny. it's funny because I, I, I want to know where you're at. Yeah, it's it's hard because I I don't know. I can only speak for me. I would not want to sign a contract that a, a marriage for me. When I got married, it was for life. Mm -hmm. For me, but. If they want to make it legal to make it a contract, let somebody else do that. You know, I don't want to say don't, you know, if, first of all, okay. this is never going to happen. Let's okay, okay. here is my opinion. Signing a contract for a specific period of time is not a marriage. It's a contract. It's a partnership. It's just like a business or anything else. It's like if, you're, if you get hired by someone and they want you to put in a year and in a year you're going to renegotiate the terms, 
A marriage is a constant renegotiation of terms. Every single day you wake up, you decide you want to stay married to that person or you don't. And it is a free choice to be married. I don't think a contract should have anything to do with it, regardless of religion or any other reason why you get married. So in my opinion, it's the biggest crock I've ever heard of. <laughs> because if you want to be married to someone, it's because you want to be married to that person and you right. choose every day to stay married to that person. Not because you have to. Okay. So now it'd be interesting. I think she's opinionated. She yeah. has a total opinion. Yeah. On that. Well, she was right. She was right. <laughs> she was right on this right. Right. That's what I think. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, the problem is, it's not uh, it's something that's ever going to happen. It'll never happen. Number one, because religious institutions will never let something like this. Oh happen. no, no, no. Will no, never no, let that. No. But getting past that, it, the the problem is like like what I was saying earlier. For me, it's for life. Let those other people, if they want to do it, they can't make it an either or thing because nobody is going to get married and, and look at each other and go, well, do you want to sign the lifetime contract? Do you want to sign the two-year contract? Do you want to sign the three-year contract? You know what I mean? Nobody's going to, everybody's going to say, well, I want the lifetime. I'm in it for long haul, baby, you know? Yeah, and, and so that's it just, exactly it what just the... won't work. It won't work. It'll never happen in my life or your life no. or anybody, you know, no. probably my kid's life. If, you know, who knows in two, three, four hundred years if they might have something like Plus, this. Plus, we have a law on the books, and it's a federal law, that after seven years, you are married. And that is it. It's uh, called, um, oh gosh, what's it called there, Producer Jeff? Common law? Common law. Common yeah. law marriage. And that's... I don't think that's every state, though. I think that's a state-by-state state thing. I thought that was every state. I don't think so. Oh, it is state-by-state? I, state? Think so. I will check on that for you. Give me a second. There Thanks. we go. So, that's yeah, involved. that's why she's here, all right? To there and to give us a real long commentary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, we need to roll on this. But to okay. be honest on this subject, um, there's no way I could ever be for it because it's not, you know, I've been married and divorced. I have been, and I'm a religious guy. And let me tell you, when I got married the first time, I thought it was forever. Of course you did. And it didn't, it didn't work out. Every, it didn't work out. every person who gets married, well, not every person, most people when they get married, they Yeah, but I know some people, and I've had some friends, and actually I've had some friends that, uh, that actually got divorced, too, that I said at the beginning, eh, if it doesn't work out, I'll just divorce her. Yeah, why would you? And I thought to myself, why go into it like that? Why even deal with it then, you if know? If that's what your attitude is going to be, why get married to begin with? Exactly. First because of all, marriage is not only a commitment, it, it, it is a lifelong sentence. I mean, a lifelong uh, uh, deal no, nobody that should, you have to be involved in. Nobody should ever get married because the other person wants to get yes, married. Yes, or for kids. I don't you think know. you should get married for kids either. No, you so. get married because you want to be married. Let's go on to the next one. President Obama tells Russian President... Wait until after the election. I'll have more flexibility then. <clears throat> Did you see this story this week? I didn't see this. I heard, um, as a matter of fact, my uh, my buddy who uh, who contacted me on Facebook, I think actually mentioned that something. Oh, did he? One of the things that he sent to me. Another thing, really quickly, Chris, I wanted to tell you. Uh, you made a lot of comments about, we have all these great, pre I have all these great presidents behind me, and I'm confused. Let me show you something. There's an imaginary line. Oop, I went too high. There's yeah, an imaginary the line. I'm sorry. Imaginary line right here. Whatever he has on that side is, is his. He puts that stuff. I have my stuff over here. And you kept saying presidents, plural. And I look there's and there's, two there. there's Reagan and Bush. Now, let me tell you something. That's two. I know. Two is I know. But let me, tell you let me explain. Polari? What is it called? Plurality. 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 Yeah, there's two. Let me tell Hello. you something. I don't even. I think the fat man has the bush up there just because he thinks it annoys me, <laughs> which it does a little bit. I don't even think he thinks that President George W. Bush was a great president. I think he's better than Obama. I didn't say that. I I, I was just gonna say that that was gonna be my next point. Was I think <laughs> this I have up there to annoy you? <laughs> okay, this is just I knew to annoy you. Were gonna you. say that you thought he's better than Obama. That's fine. But we've talked in the past. <laughs> Why? <laughs> if you want to know about that, watch a few episodes back. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Little Boy is deathly afraid of skunks. Deathly. Go ahead. Finish. You don't even believe. We've talked about this before. You do not believe George W. Bush was a great president. No. no. And I'm not sure if Chris thinks that he was a great president or not, but when you say presidents, 
I assume that you were talking about the two of them. But anyways, this side is mine, that side's his. He does whatever he wants. So uh, I have nothing to do with that side. Chris, so I do have great presence behind me. And I'm going to have more because I also have Lincoln there back there, too. Oh, that's right. Oh, maybe he's talking about Lincoln. Lincoln. You don't know. Lincoln. You're right. You don't know. If you're talking about Lincoln, I'm sorry. And, I forgot that uh, you had I Lincoln. am going to put a couple of more pictures up there. I'm actually going to put some pictures with. up there that you're not even going to believe who I'm going to put up there as a I've got a picture president. that I'm going to put up in back of there, too, that you're not going to like. But that's if you put that Carter up there, no, let's that's go. it. Second, well, first of all, now I will, but okay. let's move on. So let's go back to this okay. real quick. Wait till the election, I'll have more flexibility. Well, now, obviously, he thought he was off speaker. Of course. But why would you tell head of state of another country, <laughs> we, you know, like, oh, I have this wrapped up. It's wrapped up. We all know the polls are showing him now below Romney, and Romney isn't even the, the candidate our, yet, and I our, showed you that. And you, know, you showed me that. It's funny because on our page, uh-huh. uh, it actually just uh, showed where on our news section, it's it almost showed exactly even. where Obama is actually ahead of him now by one point. Oh, it's well, changing daily. It changes daily. It's changing daily. But what daily. I'm saying it is... It certainly isn't wrapped up. Is that just cockiness? Is that is that too far over and above? I'm I'm wondering, most presidents done it. I'm, I'm sure others have. Okay, I'm wondering if he wasn't if the way he was saying it wasn't like I'm so positive I'm going to be reelected. So I basically, are you more, are you cleaning up after him now? Or are you no, just telling I'm, what you I'm really think? I'm telling you what I think. All right, go Am ahead. I allowed to have an opinion too? Opinions are like friend. <laughs> oh, excuse my language. <laughs> you know, let me tell you something. You are. The censorship police. I know. I can't PMLB believe, but that will never make it out on the recorded version. Oh. <laughs> For those of you who are watching, you uh, you got a little bit of a treat there. <clears throat> please, please email in and complain. <laughs> please. <laughs> he is such a stickler for the for the swearing, and now all of a sudden he let one slip. No, no. I won't. hope I hope our other guys are watching that. Um, anyways. I'm wondering if he was just not, if it wasn't necessarily being cocky about being reelected, but just talking about um, what he's going to do in his next term. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think, I think all presidents feel that way the first time. They, they do, you know. I don't, I don't know if you can consider it cocky. Personally, know? I think that he is kind of arrogant. I think that's well, his whole you don't persona like being you arrogant. You don't like him from the second that he was uh, uh, ran from from the moment he was elected. And oh, I don't like him because he came from nowhere and he was like the Messiah. And I don't, don't like, like when they do that. To you people. don't like him anyways. There's nothing. But, there's uh, nothing he could do. That do I like. believe he's going to win the next election? Before I actually had more. Um, I was a little more distraught that the Republicans weren't going to do it. But I see how the sentiment of the country is. And I think the chances of the Republicans taking it are a lot better. I think if the health care law gets struck down and gas hits $5 a gallon, which I hope it doesn't because it will hurt me just as much as everybody else, <clears throat> especially since I drive a tank, I think his chances of being reelected are, are really getting lower. I also believe that the Democrats, like even the DNC, is starting to get a little nervous about that. I think we're going to have a better taste of all of this when the Republicans finally get their guy in, which we, we pretty much know it's going to be Romney, but it's not official, and they start the actual debates between the two guys. I yeah. think that's when we're going to get a better taste of But I thing. don't think that, because Republicans are going to vote Republican. The only ones right. that they're going to have to swing are the independents. So Republicans are going to vote Republicans. Democrats don't always vote, so that's going to be a problem. I know the president is worried about the bring out the vote because right. this year nobody's motivated to go vote. Right. <clears throat> Just like Kucinich said this weekend, and believe me, Kucinich is another nutcase, but he said this weekend that um, you know he thinks the president's chances are extremely low, and if unemployment figures stay where they are, that they're using, you know, because Fuzzy Map came out, you know, and they found out that it wasn't the truth about unemployment numbers. Show me those numbers. <coughs> I will. Because it anyway, actually seems like it's getting. Uh, except that there's better. people now who aren't even applying anymore. They're just they're just being left no, out. That, that's exactly, always, that's but always. the numbers haven't. They haven't, haven't changed. Anyway, if that happens, the unemployed vote will never vote for an incumbent. They were talking about that today. I was watching today that they were talking about. Um, congressmen and how there's a tremendous amount of congressmen in these districts that are really really hurting that they're just not going to get reelected no matter if they're good or bad it's because the unemployed unemployed well, never vote incumbent right now the uh, uh you know you <coughs> talk about republicans you talk about the um the president's approval rating the approval rating of congress is just oh it's dismal they're both yeah. dismal they're both is really bad. But they're both, I mean, you know, it's Congress to Senate, too. So, yeah. I mean, you can't just go by no, Congress. No, all of it, all of it. But it's funny because what, and what Kucinich was saying was, Republicans vote Republican. You're out of work, you're still going to vote Republican. Democrats, 
get pissy. And he said that he's a Democrat, and if they're out of work, they're not voting Democrat. Because they feel like, you know what, you didn't do what you said you are going to do. And if the unemployment numbers don't move, if the economy stays in the track that it's staying in, if gas prices raise, and if the health care bill gets struck down, he has nothing to run on. Because what can you look back at and say got done, you know? Well, and unemployment numbers are getting better. No, uh, he doesn't have control over the gas. No, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Every president is made mm. responsible for that. It doesn't matter. Reagan was made responsible for it. Carter was made responsible mm. for it. Clinton actually had a great time with gas. It wasn't bad during his time until the end. Bush had a problem with gas. They always get blamed for it. Whether it's true or not, they're going to get blamed for it. So <clears throat> I think you add all these things up. And I think it's going to be an extremely interesting race. I think it's going to, like I said, it's going to start getting good when the when the debates start. You know, I pretty much ignore. Well, but see, you know, the, the debates now. And the and thing is, bowl. what would you say the president has that he can say in the debates? Like, if I was Romney, and I came is, out with him, he's improving unemployment. People but, are getting but, back to but work. But they can show numbers that show it not. They can I'd show like that, that. They, can, like uh, they that. can show that not only are the unemployment numbers, they might look better. But the actual jobs gained have well, looked better. Well, then let's show that. Because everything so, I've seen, so, the jobs gained is actually better. But you only look better. at where you look. If you no, look at, see, I look true. at that third is not parties. True. That is not true. Now, that is not true. What, what would be saying. another thing that he can say? What if his health care bill got knocked down? Oh, so man. then, can he can he say can he run on? Hey, I got health care passed. He can say I got it passed. Until but then the it turned out to be away, unconstitutional. You know, I don't you know. I mean, so then then what's he going to say? Because you know, Romney would come back with. You pass an unconstitutional law. Don't you believe in the Constitution of the United States? You know, I mean, that's, that's the kind of things that could be used. Can he run on... I mean, and obviously, you're right, he has nothing to do with gas. But if I'm Romney, I'm going to say, we're paying $5 a gallon for gas, Mr. President. What are you doing about that? You shut down the Keystone Pipeline. Mm-hmm. Now, Which whether, had, whether yeah. that would have helped or not well, that's is what, what I'm he's saying. Gonna say. He's going to say... You right. Know, so, then, what do you run on? So, what do you run on? First of all, if Romney says something like, see, Romney, he's got to be smarter than that. He is not going to come out and say things like that. Of that course he be, is. No, he's not. Of he course is he is. He, you watch. Because you know why? You Republicans watch. will always listen, vote Republican. He doesn't listen, have to worry about losing you're Republicans. You're listening to me. Okay. He is not going to come out and say those things. He's going to let other people say those mm-hmm. things, mm-hmm. and he's going to let them happen. He will not come out and say those things because he will be made to, be, to look stupid. No, he won't. It's going to be the, the same difference. thing with John Kerry and that whole Swift boat thing. Oh, well. George Bush stayed away from that as much as he could, but he never squashed it like he oh, could Oh, of course have. not. Of course not. But because, why would he? You know, because it was politically good for him. But see, here's the thing. Republicans will vote for Republicans. So no matter what Romney says... You know what I mean? He's not. He knows he's not going to lose his own people. All he has to do is to sway some of them. Nah. All he has to do is well, sway we'll the middle, sway the people who, and sway the Democrats that are that are upset. And you know, people don't educate themselves. They don't educate themselves. You're right. Look and at so, all the people in the South who vote <clears throat> Republican. Yeah. Yeah, look at how many people who vote Democrat. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's who, not who, who are destroying the education, themselves. The people who know what they're voting, the, the, oh, the problem is Oh, don't even start right. that. Oh, yeah, oh don't absolutely. even start that. There's education. All right, let's move on. Please. Let's move on. All right, you want to go to another one? Or are we gonna no, it we're going to run this down. This is it. This okay. We're done. Uh, even though the House clobbered the heck out of an Obama Which, budget that thing. His, his budget. Somebody else. Yeah, it was his. But let's, but let's, let's, uh, let's go ahead and drop that down anyway. <laughs> so this is the Fat Man Little Boy Show. You can always contact me at fatman at fatmanlittleboy.com. Or you can get me at, on Google, uh, don't even say Google, ever, Twitter, at Fat Man Show. I'm a little boy at fatmanlittleboy.com. Uh, you can reach me at lbhost. Uh, once again, we stream live every Monday, 6 o'clock Pacific Standard <coughs> Time. Um, I know that most of you will be watching this on our website or on Vimeo or, or on... Uh, uh, don't even say it. Don't say it. I don't say it. I already have one word I have to cut. YouTube. Oh. On YouTube. Um, but... We also are on Media Cafe, to, don't forget. We're on Media Meta, Cafe. Meta, is it Meta Cafe? Meta Cafe. Yeah. We're also on Blip TV. Yeah. Um, we're... Uh, there's so many different most services places. out there now. And we have our own, of course, that the we best, hold it on. The best place to watch it and the most high-quality place to watch it is actually right on our website at www.fatmanlittleboy.com. So if you're watching this on one of the other ones, you go over there because it's actually running in high def on our, on our, uh, on our through servers. Our, through our high-speed servers. And uh, so you go there... Um, and during when we when we are streaming live, call in six four nine three seven three four five seven or uh, uh, 
you know, you can reach us through Twitter and we will answer any questions we didn't get any. Last week we got some. I got some before the show started today, but during the show we didn't get any, or at least I didn't see any. And also, you could always download us on iTunes, uh, have it automatically oh, right. go to your phone every day or your right. iPod or wherever you have it set up. Hey, little boy, tell them about uh, calling in before <coughs> if they don't want to be on the show. That's right. Excuse we uh, we uh, start streaming about 10 to 15 minutes before 6 o'clock. You're welcome to go in, and you can actually call in 6093873457 before the show. We, we, we're we already hooked up to the phone. We'll talk to you not on the air, you know, not during the recording if you have any questions or if you want to talk. If you don't want to be on the air, that's fine. Uh, we can do that. And same thing with the Twitter. If you tweet us or you email or any of that stuff direct, uh, uh, we'll talk to you before the show starts if you want to do that or if you want to uh, have a subject you'd like to talk about. And we have some guests next week. We have a couple of call-in guests that have been, they want to call in today, but we were going to leave it open. Right. Uh, but next week we'll have a couple of call-in guests. And we want to have that again. I want to have our yeah. guests come back. So, And also, producer Jen is going to be a little bit more part of the show. Were you on uh, video that much, Jen? I, I don't have a monitor here. But. I did show my face a couple times, and <laughs> I, uh, as things get better for me on my end, now I'm getting, and, now I'm and getting I will tweets. let you know. Now you're getting the tweets? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, thanks for tweeting at the end of the show, guys. Yeah, yeah. thank you. All right, so that was our show, and thank you for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Take care.